what i would say is moving from my home country the flexibility that i was used to all those years so those things are somewhat different when you go over and work in saudi arabia but i would say is one of the primary things which kept me motivated and kept me going was the organization and i primarily believe that if you are good and you like your work you like your organization all those become all becomes primary and everything else falls in place and becomes secondary i would say is from a family perspective my son was very small at that point of time so there was a big change so far as education is concerned from his moving from his home country to saudi arabia to riyadh but i would say is that we have to work out a compromise and at the end of the day life is all about compromises you have something good you have something which is not so good and you try to balance out you cannot have the best of the world in all circumstances so definitely i would say is you look for opportunities not only on the professional side or the personal side you get to meet with your countrymen who are also expats in saudi arabia you build up a team you work on uh, developing and meeting at regular intervals over the weekends over the evenings so all this is definitely something which has helped me in uh, i mean living and working in saudi arabia for uh, a decade I joined Alger group at a time when the economic condition was not really very good and essentially we had to make sure that the business from a treasury perspective is managed very well it had a some certain financing in place but essentially it was nearing its maturity and there were need to sort of manage it effectively so basically the FMCG business was needing for cash and a refi was a support to be done uh, because of the maturity profile was coming near so that refi was done in 2019 that was for the fmcg business then the real estate and the hospitality business had also certain debt on its books which was also coming to its maturity and a refi was required so we worked towards uh, with the relationship banks to raise a 12 year financing essentially stretching the cash flow to ensure that the loan obligations are met effectively besides this there were repatriation challenges of cash from jurisdictions in africa where again similar to india in my experience with nalco where challenges or restrictions from the central bank certain regulations to be followed for repatriation of surplus cash from jurisdictions like Mozambique, Zambia and South Africa which also had to be managed and uh, made sure that repatriation happened with all the necessary approvals in due time so far as development of the team is concerned i think the primary a uh, objective would be to sort of make sure that they do whatever they are required to be done it's not absolutely essential that you need to keep down their necks at all times but just to make sure that they understand their role they know what they are required what is required from them by the organization and from me as the treasurer to make sure that they deliver what is expected at the right time i think that's very very important we have to give the team the flexibility right to make sure that uh, they have ample flexibility and freedom to move forward but to ensure that within the overall framework that we all work or required to work